Monopolies are slowly killing rural America and driving up the price you pay for food. Just four firms control 85% of all beef, 66% of all pork, and 54% of all poultry. This degree of monopolization is hurting farmers and you. Monopolists control nearly every part of the food production process, from selling feed to farmers to packaging the meat and poultry for supermarkets. Half of all chicken farmers report having just one or two processors to sell to. Farmers are essentially forced to buy from and sell to monopolies at whatever price the corporation wants, often taking on crushing debt to do so. They're trapped in long-term binding contracts with no way out but losing their livelihood altogether. Either I sign it or I ain't got no chickens. Without any chickens, I can't pay any bills. I can't pay my mortgage. Meat packers used to compete at cattle auctions for what ranchers produced, which helped ranchers get a reasonable return on their investment. Now, with so few buyers, ranchers have no choice but to sign contracts with meat packers and sell their cattle for a lower price than if the market were truly competitive. In 1980, 62 cents of every dollar consumers spent on beef went to ranchers. Today, only 37 cents do. Most of the profits are going into the pockets of the monopolists. And here's the kicker. Even though farmers are getting squeezed, the ag monopolists are also charging you higher prices. During the pandemic, beef prices rose nearly 16%, and the four biggest beef companies' profits rose more than 300%. These corporations are using their monopoly power to fix prices. Just recently, beef giant GBS settled, without admitting guilt of course, a beef price-fixing case for $52.5 million. We've never witnessed this level of concentration in the history of our industry. This situation is urgent. Monopolization is happening across the food sector. In corn, soybeans, dairy, pesticides, and farm machinery, the result is the same. Lower pay to farmers, bigger profits for the monopolists, higher prices for you. A better way to hold these monopolies accountable would be to break them up and stop future mergers. But it won't be easy. They flex their political muscle through powerful lobbies like the North American Meat Institute and maintain a revolving door with the regulatory agencies like the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Well, I say, take them on. Rural America's hurting. Farmers are getting squeezed and consumers are being shafted. Notwithstanding the power of food monopolies, taking them on is wildly popular, especially in rural America. But don't just listen to me. Listen to what farmers are saying about this. I'm here to tell the powers that be to enforce the antitrust laws for the world of agriculture. The laws are on the books. We have to strengthen those laws and do what Teddy Roosevelt did to break up the monopolies. Don't let these boys who come to Washington with pockets of money sit there and bribe our congressmen year after year after year. Who will stand up for me if you don't? For the good of us all, America needs to enforce antitrust laws and break up Big Ag.